we can use delete from statement to delete rows from table so let's work on the test database and let's see what we have inside customer table so as we learned it before we will use select everything for row table customer and then terminate the statement and before you run the statement choose the database accordingly so then run the code as you see we have five rows so now if i want to remove the last row i have to specify the last row by the id for example so what we do delete from table customer where where id equal to five and i will terminate the statement with semicolon now let's run the code and let's see what happens as you see the row number five has been deleted now if i want to delete row number two i can delete uh, row number two by it is id i can just put two and then run this code it will delete that row as you see row number two and five disappeared or deleted maybe you ask why you are using the id to indicate which rows to be deleted in the delete from statement the reason is the id is the unique uh, number for each row for example if we are using a state to delete a row this will make a problem for us so let's try it and see what will happen so i will write the state equals to ca so in this case any state which is ca it will be deleted regardless who who the name is so in this case it will delete two rows the, the first row and the second row will be deleted and uh, sometime maybe you need to delete one of them but because you specified the ca as a state in the where clause it will delete both rows so let's uh, execute this query and uh, let's execute select query to see what happened as you see two rows has been deleted because both are uh, in the same uh, state that's why it has been deleted so always pay attention to your delete from statement the where clause is very important to use and decide which column name will be used to delete the rows otherwise you will get problems which cannot be undo